Hey guys, I'm Austin, 501 Speed Crew. Uh, everybody's been telling me I needed to do a new project. So I'm going to be using a Loxy 5T as my first uh, project car for the channel. I bought it used without an engine, uh, just to make a big monster out of. So, start with taking the body off. When I bought it, it's got a couple upgrades already. It's got the rear aluminum center brace, or uh, rear metal uh, body mount. It's got the top plate here, the front center brace, uh, dual servo arm bell crank. Uh, plan on making it either 8S with the XLX2 or 12S with the Max 4. Plan on, um, I want to say plan on. I made a new motor mount for uh, the 800 kV Castle 2028. Uh, Bob's been a big help from PPS to let me uh, get some uh, parts for it to make it. That way I can send these parts off to the machine shop and get my own motor mount and top plate made. Uh, I'm going to take the brakes off the rear since they're going to interfere with the motor mount. Put them on the front. Uh, dual, du dual disc in the front. Use a Spectrum 905 servo. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the uh, high tech servo here on 8.4 volts, but this cannot handle 8.4 volts, so I'm going to be using a buck converter. I made work to turn the voltage down to the servo, and I'll end up making battery trays here. Uh, here and here, I'll put the ESC somewhere in here for the uh, ESC plate. As far as upgrades, what I'm going to do to it, I 3D printed and designed these body washers on Fusion. They've got a little bit of an angle to them, so the so I can fix this problem here that rips out of the body. Pretty notorious for the 5Ts to happen. And I'm going to put these little mud guards in the back, rear skid plate, uh, aluminum shielded wheel nuts, and the rubber boots on the uh, drive cups there. As far as the servo, I'm going to get rid of all this plastic up here and do some standoffs just directly out of the chassis. And that's about it. Alright, uh, this is going to be the disassembly of the 5T in process of converting it to electric. Right, well, let's guess let's get started. Start by taking this servo screw out. Grab our two and a half. So these are the standoffs I made on our lathe here to fit this truck.
take servo, put that back in. do the other side.
side is done. is taking this rear brake disc, moving it to the front because of this 3D printed motor mount. The motor's gonna be so close, it's going to interact with your brake disc here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these screws here, which will convert these so that they are stepped screw down to a spacer and will uh, make it to where I can use the, the spring on here to Make it fit on the front. Sell these screws off to the side here. Move our brake disc to the front. So here's where the tricky part comes in. Since you can't do metal on metal, you have to double up your pads. And to do that, you have to have an extra wide, or extra long space in there. So me getting rid of this lip here will make it to where I can use these two spacers here. Put my first pad on here, my springs, my next pad, pad again, and spring, and another pad. So this will fit in there just like so, and tighten up. And we will do it again to the other side. Put our spring in there again. I get it to cooperate with me. Tighten all this up. Now that way. Oh. Okay, cut that. So now, when we go and spin our center dip here, we can use our brakes, which would normally get a servo pulled on it here to get it to quit or to stop. So now you're, you would have a backup brakes so you don't have to use the brakes or the motor and use up a lot of potential battery or runtime. As far as this guy goes, I will be taking out all the mechanism in the back. As far as brake goes, since all my brakes are going to be on the front, and I will be installing this. Right, so now we're going to get to the disassembly of the center differential here and putting on our mock-up. 3D printed motor mount. So I've got other screws, a couple screws that are missing here or there. I've got some more on order. Take off our old back plate. We're going to take loose our rear brakes. And I'm going to take this top piece off to do that. Pop it off. Take our little pushing out, pop this back on, and as far as 
as this goes, this guy will just pop on right here. And let this fit right in. Here's what it looks like after assembly. And we're gonna throw it in the car real quick and show y'all what the breakdown looks like. Take our big truck here, throw it up here on the workbench. So the main idea here is to, we're gonna have a top plate here that's going to use our spectrum servo as we mentioned before. It's going to have this Castle 2028 here that we're gonna be using. I have the steel insert from the original PPS design that we can use to adjust the motor gear mesh, tighter or looser, and uh, that's about it. Thanks guys for watching. We will have a part two coming out here pretty soon. Thanks for watching.